guys welcome back my name is Ashley if this is your first video on my channel welcome today I am talking about the good and the beautiful math specifically math 2 um, and my experience with using it with my daughter for about the last 60 days I did a Q&A with you guys and I kind of answered some of my thoughts on the new math program because this is our first time ever using the good and the beautiful math and so I wanted to come back on and give you guys an update on my honest thoughts are we loving it are we not enjoying it? Is more importantly, is my daughter loving it? Is she not enjoying it? And I also want to let you guys know that I have a really generous giveaway attached to this video. Um, so be sure to check out the description box of this video for details on how to enter the giveaway. Um, one or two or three of you guys are going to be gifted a complete math program from the good and the beautiful as a part of a giveaway on this video so that is incredibly generous of them and i am so honored to partner with them on today's video where i get to offer you guys an amazing giveaway um, that can bless some of your families so i'm really excited about that um so be sure to check out the description box because i'm not going to mention any details of that in this video all the information will be down there for you guys if you're new to my channel, let me give you a little bit of background. I have been homeschooling for six years and I, when I very, very, very first started homeschooling, I started using a math, uh, math program, um, Horizons math program. And I have used that for all of my kids up until um, sixth grade, at which point I transitioned them into teaching textbooks, which is an online math program. So. In my six years of homeschooling, I have tried two math programs, Horizons Math and Teaching Textbooks. And so when the Good and the Beautiful came out with a math program that was actually my daughter's grade level, I was so excited about it um, because I wanted to try it. I wanted to see, you know, part of me Part of me wanted to just try it if I'm being honest because I love everything the good and the beautiful creates and so I figured math would be no exception. Um, but I also wasn't dissatisfied with the other math program that we were using. So I was kind of like, should I, should I give it a try? Should I not give it a try? Well, my daughter ended up breezing through um, a large portion of her math this year and so she actually ended up finishing horizons level two a lot earlier than i thought she was going to so i was able to then say okay let's try the good and the beautiful math now too because we're not going to just do another math or not do any math and i didn't want to go on to grade three yet so it actually worked out really perfect so I got um, Math 2 Part 2 right here. I brought it in to show you guys um, what the cover looks like. And this is the cover. So every, I got this question a lot, so I'm gonna try to answer some questions while I do this. Every um, math level has Part 1 and Part 2, and they are meant to be used in succession of one another. So it's not like you would do part one for one, um, like for a whole year. I, um, I've i come to learn that they are meant to be used together. I got that question a lot. And then this is what I really love, <laughs> is this math activity box. It is for levels one and two. So if you've got a younger kiddo, you just get this once and then you have it for what you need. And I'm telling you, I wish I would have had some of these things with my other kids um, when they were younger. So, uh, like I said, I wasn't dissatisfied with the math program that we were using, but the timing just worked out for us to give the good and the beautiful math a shot um, and see what I thought because for grade three, they are working on grade three. Um, it should be being released soon. So I wanted to know, well, am I going to go ahead and use their math program or am I going to go ahead and just use what we've always used? So. I entered into trying the Good and the Beautiful Math with open eyes, open heart, and just 
let's see. Um, when you've used another curriculum for a really long time, you're used to that. And so I knew that there was going to be um, a little bit of like a transitional time. And there was. But I have to say right out of the gate, we really do love the math program. I love the fullness of this math program. I love that it encompasses so many real life stories and examples of where math is used that you don't even realize math is being used. There's so much more to math and that development of thinking and those skills than just simply memorizing facts and being able to use operations. Now that is a part of math and that is a part of the good and the beautiful math, but there is so much more to it. Um, so I've really enjoyed that. I feel like it's the perfect combination of so many great resources um, where people have mentioned to me in the past things like Life of Fred, which is like math through like stories and real life learning and then also some memorization because memorizing multiplication facts helps you with division and division helps you with decimals and decimals help you with fractions and percents. And so knowing those things is valuable and so it has that and then it also has a really fun activities it is colorful so it it incorporates pretty much the good stuff of so many different curriculums so we really have been enjoying it now I have seen a few people say that they tried it but it was just way too teacher intensive um, it's much too wordy in their opinion and so they wanted to know, do I feel the same way? So I want to include in this update, I do see where people, people who are used to basically passing out uh, like one worksheet like this, um, they might see this and see this and think, okay, that is a little more teacher intensive, but they lay out all of the supplies you need at the top. And what I like to do, um, this is just how we do it. When my daughter is working on something independently, I am just looking over her lesson to get a feel for it. So I'll just sit there literally like this and I'm just reading it and I'm like, okay, that works. Okay, good. And by the time, I mean, it's five to 10 minutes. By the time she's done with her handwriting or whatever she was working on and we're ready to move into math, I've already looked it over. So I think where people go wrong, and I, and I think that this is for any curriculum, not even just the good and the beautiful math, but is when they take on this, I have to read every single word on the page to do it right. You do not have to do that. The curriculum is there to serve you. And so if you feel like paraphrasing or if you feel like short up or maybe not doing that activity that is okay so I feel like you shouldn't ever not utilize a wonderful curriculum just because you think that there's too many words or too many things to say when in fact you could just not say that part or not do that part you get to decide what you what you use and what you do and if you just take a quick second and read it over um, then you're able to explain it to your child in a lot less words. I mean, some of the things like the stories you do want to read off of the page, but that's not every, that's not every lesson. Um, so we've, we've really, really enjoyed it. I love that there are activities and things for me to, to engage in math with her. I feel like math is probably the most hands-off subject of homeschooling across all grade levels um, because it's just very much like you show them how to do it and then they do it usually. Um, and then once you get into teaching textbooks, then you're very hands-off. And so I think that engaging with my youngest daughter and taking this time to do these fun activities and read her these stories and show her these puzzles. Um, it's just really, really fun. And I'm grateful that we get to do math together versus me just kind of supervise her. So um, we've really, really, really enjoyed it um, together. So we have been using it for 60 days. She is moving through it quicker than I expected, but I think that's to, that's because she, um, 
she's already familiar with some of the concepts but I will say that there are things in here that have been new to her as well so that's something to keep in mind is that anytime you change a curriculum whether it's history or language arts or math or whatever anytime you change a curriculum there is probably going to be some overlap um, and that's not a bad thing it's okay if your kids know it and they review it for a little bit of course you don't want it to go on for you know the whole like a month or something but a couple of things that they're already familiar with isn't a bad thing um i don't believe that every day kids have to be so challenged that they're like it's just not possible so reviewing information is okay to do and anytime you make a change to a curriculum you should just expect that that's going to be a part of it because every curriculum is laid out differently formulated differently maybe uses a different method um you know all of that so that has been the case there are some things that she already does know but i'm okay with that and there have been new things too and there have been things that i never really thought to teach her and so the curriculum is full it is so well-rounded that is my biggest takeaway now to share with you guys um and i'll include some clips right here to share with you guys what my daughter loves the most about it is she loves the activities she loves the bonus activities she loves these little puzzles i'll show you what they're what they look like tanagram puzzles where they are doing you know figuring out how to do this even my older kids seventh and sixth grade they come over and they see these and they're like is that a game can I play it and they want to do it too so my she's been loving the activities that are in here um these little wooden shapes have been so helpful um for her as well and these um place cards they're all mixed up but like these place cards to create the numbers is helping her a lot with thousands we we didn't ever struggle with that until we got to the thousands so um she is just eating it up and loving it the bonus activities are definitely her favorite thing so we have used the good and the beautiful math for 60 days now and i do have to say because this is the question everyone is going to ask me are you going to use it next year for um, grade three and the answer is yes I will be using math level three from the good and the beautiful for her so we are gonna completely switch over um, for her unfortunately the levels that I would need for my older kids are not available but I am just taking this time to um, to spend it with her use, doing math together and using something new that we're both really enjoying a lot so that is our update on math math level two um from the good and the beautiful now before i go i just want to remind you guys to enter the giveaway make sure you read the description box and follow those instructions and i will contact the winner who will be chosen at random and contacted by me and I am excited to be able to bring these opportunities to you guys. So give me a thumbs up before you go. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments. And I will see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye, guys.